Yo, what's up guys? This is Wetkans and today we're gonna talk about a very serious incident that occurred in the previous days and it's about this game right here, Block Blasters. Uh, it was on Steam. Uh, it seemed like a valid game but in the process it was a big big scam that drained more like 150k in cryptocurrency. So a brief backup story before we proceed. This streamer right here, he's a Latvian streamer. Rivo Plavniks, if I'm not mistaken. So this guy was raising money for his stage 4 cancer treatment and someone in his stream said uh, go download this Steam game and from there he lost around 32k US dollars. I don't know what kind of person you must be to scam a cancer victim. I mean, okay, I pray for this guy and I also pray for the other guys and fortunately uh, this guy right here and his team, Zach XBT, uh, they managed to reverse engineering, find every stuff needed and trace back the scammers. So congrats to this guy. And let's see, this is from the Steam database. We see that the game is deactivated. Okay, and we also can see, where is it? The patches right here. And the history, I think. Blade history right here so anything you need to find will be right here Genesis Interactive so this is the developer and the so-called human beings I don't wanna say my true thoughts on the video but I, I bet you can film me so let's see how the scam worked uh, also a uh, big thanks to this guy or these guys right here uh, they explained in details how the scam worked. So I kind of use this page to introduce you to the whole theme. So let's see first. So what was actually happening there? Okay, you download the game from Steam and then it starts doing some stuff that it shouldn't. So it collects your IP. It was constantly updating your IP. So in case you were changing IP with DHCP and stuff, this was tracing back your new IP so it knows that, okay, you are infected. And what else it did, it actually scanned your system to check if there is any antivirus installed. After that, it was also collecting some login data like your Steam ID, uh, remember password and stuff like that. And then after it had collected all of your stuff, it uploaded your data on a C2 server, a command control server. And the IP is this right here, the IP and the port. And then what it did, uh, it started to executing some VBS scripts. We're going to see them in a bit. And as we can see, uh, the whole scam was happening in the V1 zip right here. On the top, we see that there is a password, 121. And why did it have a password? Uh, whenever you upload a file on the internet, let's say, and you add a password, uh, it cannot be scanned for viruses. Because it says, okay, it's a password protected file. Someone who downloads the file knows the password. So it's kind of trustworthy. Uh, so it cannot be scanned for viruses online. So it had a password to avoid detection. And then what it also did, uh, it checked if your system has only Windows Defender active and not any other antivirus. Uh, it checked it from the AV process running, something like that, if I remember correctly. And if so, then it started to execute to unpack the V1 zip and proceed with doing all the bad stuff we'll see in a bit. So right here we see that it actually creates the one dot bat. This is the bat file. It will actually check if it is already exist and it will run it on the background. So you won't be able to see it. It runs it with cmd.exe. So that was hidden in plain sight because it was there, but you couldn't see it. It was running on the background. Uh, I didn't have access to the source code. So, so I'm trying to explain with what I read from the blog and the source code I, I see right here. And what it also did, it was collecting your browser. And what I mean with that, it's, I said it wrong. So it was checking what browser you have and it tried to drain everything from it, like saved passwords, uh, crypto wallets, and then it will send the data back to the C2 server. Right here, we can see that it checks if you have Chrome, Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, Opera, as you can see. It takes the user data, user data, user data, Opera Stable, extensions. So it was trying to gather everything you have saved on your local PC and the browsers. And right here, you see that uh, it takes all the stuff we said before and it tried to unzip the 
V1, the V1 or the V3, I don't remember. So we tried to extract this and put them inside this directory. So why it actually did that? When you put it there, it will bypass Windows Defender. It will pass any additional scans. So when you put it there, after that, uh, it will just unpack it with password. So, okay, uh, you bypass Win Windows Defender and you just extract the stuff and start doing some bad shit. So what it actually did, it unpacks and executes the data inside this zip file. And it also checked if there is a Steam process running. As I said before, it was regathering, recollecting, requeried uh, your IP info. So it knows, okay, the, the victim is still infected and I get the real data back, his real IP. And right here we see a Python script. This was a Python compiled binary. So you needed to decompile it and reverse engineer it to see what it actually had. So right here we see the command control server. Right on top we see server host and we see the IP right here and the port. And this is a typical command control server. And right here we see it can also execute commands like ls, cd, cat, and stuff like that. On the next image right here, as we said before, right here, it actually checks what your browser have and tries to steal data. As we can see, Brave Software, blah, 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 user data, local state. So it was trying to steal data from, let's say your browser extensions and the stuff you have regarding any browser you're using. And right here, uh, it's not visible, but, but the binary was using an RC4 encryption method uh, which is deprecated and it's easy to crack. I don't know if these guys were rookies or whatever. The whole process was okay. I mean, the scam worked, so it wasn't bad. Uh, the action was bad. Okay, I'm not talking about the action. The action was unethical, bad. I don't encourage it. I really hate these guys, to be honest. But right here, we're trying to explain how this happened, why did it work, how to avoid it. And right here, we see the, the real IP address, which is this right here so it was sending your data right to this ip in a few words that was the scam that happened with steam and block blasters my suggestion my countermeasures i have to tell you is actually uh, use antivirus products this will help you minimize the threats you might find in applications that slip your eyes and you download it by mistake trust only verified authors and companies i mean okay I don't know if these, what was it, uh, generic interactive, something like that. I don't know if they are a trust company. They have some, a lot of fake reviews. Uh, so just try to be a bit not so easily trusting. Try to be more uh, suspicious about who you trust. For my crypto friends, I don't use crypto, but don't keep your crypto wallets online. Try to have a hard drive isolated away from internet, so it's not so easy to actually steal stuff from you. And in our case, I don't know if this would actually help, but uh, try to use VPN. Uh, you will always be more secure. They will not trace you back and stuff. So yeah, that was the video, guys. Uh, stay safe. Uh, I really hate these guys, if I forgot to mention it. I pray for uh, the Latvian streamer and be cautious, be careful, and see you in the next video. Bye.